Hey, what's happening, guys? Jala, I'm in tech over here. So it's been three weeks since I got uh, Lenovo workstation, one of the workstations, uh, mobile workstations, the P53S, which is basically a successor of the P52S uh, and the P51S before that. All right. So after three weeks of using it, I want to give you my sincere review and feedback of what I think um what really works what doesn't work what is true based on what they advertise and what is not true all right so before we get any further please go ahead and hit the thumbs up or subscribe for more videos to come so let's dive right into it uh at least that's the traditional ways of saying things so <laughs> so i'm diving in with that anyway so time to be serious all right so i have been using this like i said uh for three weeks now and um, it's a beautiful machine. It really is. I had the P52S, used it for about a year uh, before they, um, the motherboard uh, crapped out on me. They tried changing it twice. Couldn't find out what the problem is. They gave up, sent me a new one, hence the P53S. So been using it, been skeptical. Um, I got a chance to compare both of them together side by side to see what has changed. Uh, and there's um, a video for that that I posted earlier on so you can see a close comparison of what has changed, what they kept, what they removed and all that, so on and so forth. All right, so uh, before we go any further, also in my video, you'd notice that I did uh, upgrade it right away before I started using it. So, um, you know, it came with a uh, built-in um, on the board um, 16 gigabytes, and I added another 16 gigabytes, so giving me 32 gigabytes. Uh, this is the Windows 10 Pro. Um, it's amazing. It's much more smoother. You know, as not, no surprise there, the solid state makes a huge difference, uh, what, you know, with just processing and operations on a day-to-day -day basis. The laptop is definitely a lot faster than the P52S, uh, thanks to the solid state, obviously, because I did have 32 gigabytes, uh, which I upgraded on the P52S as well, but it's nowhere close to as fast. In fact, I my 16 gigabytes RAM, uh, and yes, I've been talking about the RAM this whole time, uh, on my six-year-old MacBook Pro is a lot faster, right? So, yeah, um, couldn't tell the difference of having 32 gigabytes of RAM in the uh, P52S, but I certainly can in the P53S. It's definitely faster. It boots much faster. It's amazing. Um, so I have had some questions also. Some ask, you know, how is the fan speed? Uh, it's really quiet, as you could barely hear it. I mean, the computer's been on since it was 100% of charge. Uh, now it's 69%. Um, haven't been using it much, but I have used, uh, did some intense use on it, and the fan still stays quiet. Perhaps the only time the fan gets a little bit louder, as in noticeably, uh, where it's not disturb disturbingly, but you can notice that it's on. Uh, that actually there's a fan there is when you're using it when for me when i'm using it um, um with a second screen so when i'm at the office i hook it up to a second screen i'm working i could hear the fan go on uh, almost constantly so i wish that there's improvement on that where it's not constantly going on where you can change it um you know or it just cools off once it cools off it shuts off the fan instead of just constantly running but it felt like it's constantly running but again it's not as loud um so you know no not much foul there uh the audio system right they said that it has the dolby i i personally liked it where when the audio the speakers were pointing downwards uh as in underneath the laptop with the previous generations with this one the speaker is right up there so I feel like I just don't feel the sound as much as it would when it just goes against the desk, um, right? So it just gives it a little bit more depth, a little bit more vibration. But that's just personal opinion. You, Some of you might be just fine with it. I haven't personally tried the difference of the sound to see how crepes it is or how better of a bass. 
uh, at the end of the day, it's a laptop uh, speaker. Uh, and a lot of us use our laptops with headphones now. And if you're using this as a workstation, okay, maybe you might use the audio. Um, but for me, I haven't found use for it, so I can't give you much of my feedback on that. Uh, but I can tell you that it's loud enough uh, to do the job. All right, so the keyboard has basically been the same, not much change there. Uh, what I did like though, as far as the build quality, is that I like that they kept the same material as of the front and the back, right? So the, the previous uh, gens, they had just a cheap plastic material on the back and it tends to crack. But this is same military grade material as is on the top as well. So that's amazing. Um, another thing that changed is the um, IR camera. Um, it came with two, the P52S had two sensors here. This only has one, so they compiled it into one. Um, and it's a bit more responsive. Um, I, you know, like I'll probably get maybe two fails out of a 10. Um, in attempts to log in, but for, for, for the most part, it works just fine uh, with the Windows Hello Login. And for those who don't know, basically, this is where it uses the AR camera to scan your face to log in, right? So in the previous generation, it fails sometimes and you have to recalibrate and stuff like that. Another thing I really, really like also is that the uh, privacy uh, slide right here is built in, even with the IR camera. The previous model is not built in with the IR camera and this is uh, you know, much neater because it's just on the inside, as you can see, I can slide it in and out. So that way, you know, you can just shut the camera off as soon as you log in and that's it. Um, what else? Uh, as far as the ports, right, the ports have been moved around. Um, you know, I was worried that I, it would take me time to get used to, but I'm actually happy with this arrangement right here. So you got one USB, which I usually use for my uh, wireless mouse. I haven't used the cat slot yet, um, the heat uh, uh, vent, um, and the, um, you know, the uh, internet cable, and, as well as the Kensington are on one side. So those are light usage, and then you have more of your main connectivities on the uh, left side, which is amazing. So I, I really like that, no complaints with that. Uh, the card reader, I wish that they kept the big size card reader instead of just the nano, uh, the micro um, SD card reader only, um, you know, but how many of us use that nowadays? Unless you're using this for media, it might not matter too much. So overall, what do I think? Uh, well, before we get there, actually, <laughs> and I uh, apologize, these things are not scripted, guys, so I'm just giving you the raw footage here as I get them. Um, another thing that I wish that had been better is the battery. So the battery life is not as advertised. This has only one battery compared to the previous model, and it's built in. And if you look at my, um, uh, my upgrade video, Basically, when I just got this, I opened it up, upgraded some internals and stuff like that. Um, I'll show you what the battery looks like, right? It's felt pretty light, so since then I was not very confident with it. And I am right, because the battery uh, doesn't give me much battery life at all. I get like five to seven hours of charge from 100% charge, of battery life, I apologize, from 100% charge. Um, of just regular usage, right? So emails, replying emails and stuff like that, perhaps playing Spotify and that's it, right? So it's definitely not the 11 hours or 15 hours that they promised you. Um, I can say that using the P52S, which is the previous model for almost a year, uh, for a little over a year, I got um, a good average 10 hours of charge with the two batteries. So. I definitely was concerned with just this being um, basically consolidated into one battery and I didn't think that it was going to work and it didn't. So anyway, I actually just got off the phone with Lenovo today and they um, they are sending me a new battery to install uh, and then we'll try that out and see how that works. So I'll keep you posted perhaps on the comment sections of this uh, video here to let you know how that worked out. But right now I can tell you that the battery life sucks. All right, so that's basically about it, guys. Uh, a quick review, uh, you know, unedited, so excuse the pauses and stuff like that, but 
hopefully you can uh, look through that and get the actual message this is my sincere review uh, my three weeks of usage what i learned about this laptop if it worked if it didn't uh, and things that did not work things that did work all right i hope this video is helpful once again this is jalam in tech peace out